writer struggling to write an article? Let me show you how to use ChatGPT to get the job done. Katerina, I'm the author of the book From Reads to Weeds. This is my channel where I share tips and tutorials on copywriting and content marketing to help you leap from a writer to a content marketer and take your writing career to a whole new level. Subscribe to this channel so you never miss a new video. In this video, we'll talk about ChatGPT, OpenAI's new chatbot, and how you can use it to create expertly made content on topics that you have zero knowledge of. But before we get to it, tell me, have you tried ChatGPT? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't tried it yet, follow the link in the description below. Now, let's talk about how you can use ChatGPT to write an article on a topic you are not an expert in. For example, let's say we need to create an article about user-generated content in games. This article is going to target game developers. You are not an expert in game development and you have very little knowledge about user-generated content. Let's use ChatGPT to discover your story. Hey ChatGPT, what do you know about user-generated content in games? User-generated content, also known as UGC, refers to any type of content that is created by users of a game rather than the developers of the game itself. This can include things like custom maps and levels, modifications to existing game content, and even entirely new game modes or features. UGC is often seen as a way for players to express their creativity and ingenuity and can also help to extend the lifespan of a game by providing players with new and interesting content to experience. Interesting! Let's talk more about it. Why do gamers like UGC? There are a few reasons why gamers may enjoy UGC. For one, it can provide players with new and unique experiences that they may not have been able to access otherwise. This is especially true for gamers that have a robust modding community where players can create and share their own custom content with others. UGC can also add a sense of ownership and investment to a game, as players who create their own content can feel more connected to the game and its community. Additionally, UGC can help to keep a game fresh and interesting even after players have completed the main storyline or reached the highest level. Since we are targeting game developers, let's ask ChatGPT. Why should game development companies pay attention to UGC? Game development companies should pay attention to UGC for a few reasons. First, and foremost, UGC can be a great source of new ideas and content for a game. By paying attention to what players are creating, game developers can gain insights into what players are interested in and what they would like to see in the game. This can help to guide the development of future updates and expansions to the game and can also help to ensure that the game remains interesting and engaging for players. Additionally, UGC can help to extend the lifespan of a game as players who are creating and sharing their own content are likely to continue playing the game for longer. This can help to drive continued engagement and revenue for the game. Finally, fostering a strong UGC community can help to build a positive reputation for the game and its developers, which can help to attract new players and build a loyal player base. Great, we have the why section of our blog post. Now let's dive into more detail. Okay, this sounds convincing. Now, how challenging is it to build a game with UGC? Building a game with UGC can be challenging for a few reasons. First, game developers need to create a system that allows players to easily create and share their own content. This can be a complex undertaking and it may require the development of specialized tools and interfaces to make it easy for players to create and share their content. Additionally, game developers need to ensure that UGC that is being created is of high quality and is appropriate for the game. This can be difficult to manage, especially if the game has a large and active community of players who are creating their own content. Finally, game developers need to consider how to incorporate UGC into the overall game experience in a way that is seamless and enjoyable for players. This can require a lot of planning and coordination to ensure that UGC fits well with the game and enhances the player experience. Perfect! This sounds like making games with UGC is a costly endeavor. Let's ask a straightforward question. How much does it cost to build a game with UGC? 
The cost of building a game with UGC can be right depending on a number of factors, including the complexity of the game and the number of players who are expected to create and share content and the specific tools and technologies that are used to support UGC. In general, however, building a game with UGC is likely to be more expensive than building a traditional game, as it requires the development of specialized tools and interfaces to support user-generated content. Additionally, game developers may need to invest in additional resources to manage and curate the UGC that is created by players. As a result, it is difficult to provide a specific cost estimate for building a game with UGC without knowing more about the specifics of the game and the UGC system that will be used. Almost forgot, we would definitely need examples for this article. What are some examples of successful games with UGC? There are many examples of successful games with UGC. Some popular examples include Minecraft, which allows players to create and share their own custom maps and structures, and Little Big Planet, which allows players to create and share their own levels and game modes. Other examples of successful games with UGC include Gary's Mode, which is a sandbox game that allows players to create and share their own custom game modes and scenarios, and Roll Roblox, which is a platform that allows players to create and share their own games in virtual worlds. Overall, these games have been successful in part because they provide players with the tools and resources they need to create and share their own content, and because they have a strong and active community of players who are creating and sharing UGC. It seems like we've got enough information to write this article, but we might still need something more to make it look like an expert wrote it. Let's see what questions we might ask a subject matter expert to be able to add things that AI won't be able to provide. What questions would you ask a game designer who has created games that incorporate UGC content? Here are a few questions that I would ask a game designer who has created games that incorporate UGC content. What inspired you to incorporate UGC into your game? What challenges did you face while designing a game with UGC and how did you overcome them? How do you ensure that the UGC that is created by players is of high quality and is appropriate for the game? How do you engage with the community of players who are creating and sharing UGC for your game? What role do you think UGC plays with the overall success of your game and why? What advice would you have for game developers who are considering incorporating UGC into their games? These questions would help to provide insight into the game designer's approach to UGC and would also help to understand the challenges and opportunities that come with designing a game with UGC. Great, finally, let's end this article with some vision for the future. How do you see the future of UGC in games? The future of UGC in games is likely to be bright as more and more game developers are beginning to recognize the value of user-generated content. As game technology continues to evolve, it is likely that we will see more games that incorporate UGC in new and interesting ways, allowing players to create and share their own content in more sophisticated and immersive ways. Additionally, the increasing popularity of gaming on mobile devices and other platforms is likely to provide new opportunities for UGC, as more players will be able to create and share their own content from anywhere. Overall, the future of UGC in games looks promising, and we can expect to see more and more games that incorporate UGC in the coming years. Sweet! I've just spent a few minutes to get the, all the info I need to write about something I know next to nothing about. Of course, I still need to work on this article to structure it properly and connect all the dots, but hey, I've automated the most time-consuming part of the writing process, the research. Let's see how ChatGPT handles the creative part. How would you call an article that communicates the following message? It's very challenging and costly to develop games that incorporate UGC, but you should do it anyway. One possible title for an article with this message might be the challenges and costs of incorporating user-generated content in games and why you should do it anyway. This title clearly conveys the challenges and costs associated with UGC while also emphasizing the benefits and why game developers should consider incorporating UGC into their games. Other possible titles could include why UGC is worth the investment despite the challenges or the rewards of incorporating UGC despite the hurdles. Good results, but it doesn't sound compelling enough to me. Can you make this title The Challenges and Costs of Incorporating User-Generated Content in Games and Why You Should Do It Anyway a bit shorter and more catchy? Here are a few possible shorter and more catchy versions of the proposed title. Why UGC is worth the investment, challenges and costs. The rewards of incorporating UGC, overcoming the hurdles. Invest in UGC, challenges and benefits. UGC, why the challenges are worth it. Why you should incorporate UGC, challenges and rewards. These shorter and more catchy versions of the title retain the main message of the original title while being more concise and attention-grabbing.
Perfect. If ChatGPT can write headlines, I bet it can also write great introductory paragraphs. Can you write an introductory paragraph for this article? Sure, here is a possible introductory paragraph for an article on the challenges and costs of incorporating user-generated content in games and why you should do it anyway. User-generated content, or UGC, can be a powerful way to extend the lifespan of a game and to engage players in new and interesting ways. However, incorporating UGC into a game can be challenging and costly, requiring the development of specialized tools and interfaces, and the management of potentially large and active community of players who are creating and sharing their own content. Despite these challenges, however, incorporating UGC into a game can provide many benefits, including access to new ideas and content, extended engagement and revenue for players, and a positive reputation for the game and its developers. In this article, we will explore the challenges and costs of incorporating UGC into a game and why game developers should consider doing it anyway. Hmm, the first sentence sounds a bit boring. Let's fix that. It's a good intro, but can you make the first sentence more compelling? Sure, here are a few possible variations of the first sentence that could make it more compelling. User-generated content, or UGC, can be a game-changer for developers looking to extend the lifespan of their games and engage players in new ways. Incorporating user-generated content, or UGC, into a game can be a powerful way to keep players engaged and to unlock new ideas and content. While incorporating user-generated content, or UGC, into a game can be challenging and costly, the rewards can be substantial, making it a worthwhile investment for game developers. User-generated content, or UGC, offers game developers developers a unique opportunity to tap into the creativity and ingenuity of their players, unlocking new possibilities for their games. Each of these variations emphasizes the potential benefits of UGC while also acknowledging the challenges and costs involved in incorporating it into a game. Hmm. I'm still not satisfied, probably because some of the most compelling leads start with a problem. Let's start with the problem that most game developers have and use UGC as a solution to them. One problem that many game developers face is the challenge of creating a game that remains interesting and engaging for players over the long term. This can be particularly difficult for gamers that have a linear storyline or limited game modes as players may become bored or frustrated once they have completed the main concept of the game. One solution to this problem is to incorporate user-generated content or UGC into the game. By providing players with the tools and resources Resources they need to create and share their own content, game developers can extend the lifespan of the game and keep players engaged for longer. Additionally, incorporating UGC into a game can help to build a sense of community and ownership among players, as those who create their own content can feel more connected to the game and its community. Overall, incorporating UGC into a game can be a powerful way to keep players engaged and interested in the game over the long term. Okay, it's longer than we need for an intro, but the problem is there. Time to put it all together. So there you have it. It's mind-blowing how ChatGPT is changing the way we create content. I hope you liked this short demonstration of how you can use ChatGPT to research topics and write articles. Let me know your thoughts about ChatGPT in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a like. I've got more content coming out every week, so you definitely want to subscribe to this channel for more useful stuff on copywriting and content marketing. I also have daily writing tips on Instagram, so make sure you follow me there too. All the links are in the description below. I'll see you next time with a new video. Thank you for watching. Я Катерина. До зустрічі!